I said I love the Smiths. Honey, you're so lovely, they so lovely. You, you could take some music. And then on top of that, I have a midterm tomorrow and I have a midterm next week. Spell L O V E L E E. Eat a mom for a door, you can feel me. So hello everybody. I wanted to do a little bit of another updated like after school routine. So far, second semester has been really, really busy. This week has been really busy. I have like all my labs this week still. So like preparing for the pre-labs have honestly been one of the hardest parts. And then on top of that, I have a midterm tomorrow and I have a midterm next week. And I have like a huge um, design deliverable due next week because I have a hardware course that I'm taking, which is like this PCB thing. But I have like another design deliverable on top of this PCB thing. So yeah, I just came home really early to get all of this done. Hopefully I can finish this soldering within an hour, maybe less, and then just start studying for my midterm because that's like all I need to do. I'm really worried about the midterm to be honest because the teaching for this course has been really bad so we're just gonna see but I really want to get to this soldering so let's just do that right now. I should probably wear protective eyewear but like don't be like me. Basically the solder which is this contains lead and it's bad to like breathe that in so I need to be in a, like a well ventilated area. I'm also getting really warm because of the sun here. So I'm gonna actually take this off. Oh yeah, so I'm kind of lucky just cause I'm on a design team and we have a soldering iron. This is what heats it up. You just have to connect it to it. And I'm gonna read through the lab instructions so that I know what to do. And I'm gonna like clip my hair back and um, follow all the regular safety practices besides wearing goggles. Cause I find that it just obstructs my like view. Now I just have to read what I have to do. So I just opened like a door here. It's gonna be a little bit cold, but it's actually quite warm today. It's like, I think just about one degree or two degrees and so sunny. Cause like when I start soldering, I need airflow. Otherwise I might like faint and die or something. I don't know. It's just bad to breathe the fumes in. So this is my well-ventilated area. I'm just gonna turn this on now. And okay, we want it to be, well, it's gonna do it automatically, I think. It's gonna go to around like 400 degrees Celsius, which is super, super hot. You'll see how hot it is. Cause when I touch this, like, do you hear it? It's pretty hot. That's why there's like, I have water here just to like do that. This is a solder I'll be using, and I'm soldering this first. Soldering is honestly super, super satisfying. It can be kind of tedious at first, but once you get the hang of it, it goes by super smoothly. It's also a pretty fun skill to have because you can kind of just like make any sort of project you want. My hands are so shaky, bro. And as you can see, I could never be a surgeon because my hands shake way too much. As long as they're not touching each other, that's kind of what matters, so it won't short circuit, but you can tell some are way bigger than they need to be. I think the main thing is that I'm pretty used to soldering on Arduino boards, but not PCB boards. And so I was basically taught to kind of make the solder look a little bit like a Hershey's kiss. However, because for the PCB boards, all of the internal wiring is already done, you actually don't need to put that much solder. So I will have to admit the board looked a little bit ugly at the end. So this is the aftermath, guys. It's been about like an hour and 20-ish minutes. It's actually so small, guys. Like this is my hand. If it will focus, hello. That's my hand and this is the board. Like it's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was just informed that I actually swapped the diodes. Like one is a Zener diode and the other is like the regular diode. But like, I was like, why would they make the bigger background for the smaller diode? Like you would just think the bigger background means the bigger diode. Like, 
hello anyway so i need to go into school to fix it because i don't have like the solder like absorber thing there's like a way that you can like melt it down and then absorb it with something so that you can remove the pin i tried to melt it down earlier but i didn't really have any progress because the way the solder works is it'll just like stick really well to the pin because that's the point so taking it off is really difficult i'm just finishing up i'm watching like a video just for a break and then i'm gonna do my electromagnetics pre-lab because i have a lab tomorrow and then study for my midterm which is also tomorrow but i want to just finish this pre-lab thing and then compare with my partner and then we'll be good i'm like so stressed out this week is so stressful guys I gotta be super honest with you guys because you know I want to be honest on this channel. I've been finding a lack of motivation recently in terms of studying. I'm not too sure why, it's not necessarily that I'm super burnt out. I think I was burnt out at the start of my winter break and I think a little bit of that sort of mentality has carried on into my second semester. I think it can be easy to sort of get caught up in all of the work that you have to do and then just feel really overwhelmed. And so my strategy for that is to kind of just take it a lot slower, so like one day at a time. I'm gonna take my pre-lab quiz now because we have to do this. It's five questions in 10 minutes, so I need to like grind. So this is what I'm going to after doing all of my pre-labs, I started studying for my midterm. I will definitely say that I don't think I've ever been such a procrastinator in terms of studying for these two midterms that I had this semester. I think just overall, I'm not as interested in the courses that I have this semester. I think I only really have maybe two that I'm really interested in. Combined also with a lot of more hours that I have to spend with my extracurriculars, I think just my time after school is very limited nowadays. I think overall I just really want to budget my time when I come back from school especially because most of my classes end around 6 p.m. at night and then a lot of the times I have a meeting until 7 p.m. afterwards and so I still have to eat dinner and also go to bed at a proper time so that I can wake up for a 9 a.m. the next day. So again, that's all to say that my after-school routine does not really follow a specific routine every single day. And so what you're seeing today is definitely not the same thing that I might do the next day or another day after that. It's definitely a case-by-case -case basis and also depends, you know, am I studying for midterms at the same time as well. Overall, I just try to set realistic goals for me to follow, such as having a to-do list of things that I want to complete by the end of the day. Realistically, I'm not able to complete everything, but I really want to make sure that the absolute must have to be completed, such as pre-labs that I have to go into the lab the next day. Anyway, that'll be the end of today's video. I know it's a bit of a short one, but stay tuned for more midterm study vlogs and just more videos in general. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.